The RV-9A is an American airplane designed by Richard van Grunsven of Vans Aircraft. The RV line of aircraft is the most successful line of kit airplanes in the world, with thousands sold and thousands flying. All RVs are highly regarded as great flying machines with a sporty appeal. The RV-9 was the first non-aerobatic design produced by Vance, incorporating a wing with higher aspect ratio than previous models. The unit we're testing today was built in the USA and assembled in Brazil by Flyer Industria Aeronautica. It's an RV-9A because it's a tricycle gear version. If it were a tail dragger, it would be an RV-9. It's 20.5 feet long and has a wingspan of 28 feet. Vans recommends powering the model with engines ranging from 118 to 160 horsepower. This one has a 160 horsepower engine, an XP320 built by Superior Air Parts, an experimental version of the Lycoming IO320. This unit is equipped with a Hartzell constant speed propeller. Oil level is checked through an inspection door on the cowling. RV9s carry 36 gallons of fuel in the wing, and this unit has an extra 10.5 gallon tank in the baggage compartment. Tanks are drained the usual way, and there's a drain for each one. Okay, let's get inside. The interior is not particularly spacious, but it's not uncomfortable. You sit low in the RV9, and when settled inside, there's ample headroom. There's also a good space for shoulders and legs, unless you're very wide or very tall. In which case, you would feel better in the RV14, but that is the subject of another video. There are two types of canopies available for the RV9. One is the tip-up version. The other one is the sliding type. In Brazil, almost all are sliding canopies because there's better ventilation on the ground in this configuration. And that is a welcome feature in the usually warm weather in Brazil. The RV9 panel has enough space for anything you'd want to install, from the most basic to the most sophisticated. This unit has two Dynon displays. One IFIS D100 and one EMS D120. In the center, there's a Garmin 795. And the autopilot is a true track. The airplane has sticks, and you fly with your left hand when seated on the left. Since it's a kit aircraft, there are different power lever configurations available. And this unit has push-pull levers, with mixture and prop controls being the vernier type. The fuel selector, with left, right, auxiliary and off positions, is located between the seats. The stick grips on this unit are fighter type, and it incorporates controls for the flaps through this switch, and the trim through this coolie hat button. The PTT is in the frontal part of the grip. The RV9 has a reasonably sized baggage compartment even on this unit that has the extra fuel tank using up some of the space. Okay then, clear prop! The RV-9, like all Vans airplanes, is metal, with monocoque construction. The nose gear is free castering.
Okay, we're good to go. Takeoff performance is exceptional. Maximum flap speed is 90 miles per hour, and to maintain that, the nose goes way up. We saw 93 miles per hour indicated, and the VSI was at 700 feet per minute when we crossed 4,500 feet. Settled in cruise with 2,400 RPM and 24.3 inches of manifold pressure, we obtained 186 miles per hour of truer speed according to the Dynon EFIS. That's 161 knots. We were burning 8.8 .8 gallons an hour. Wow! That's Bonanza speed at Cessna 172 fuel consumption. Then we reduced to 19.5 inches, still at 2,400 RPM, and leaned the mixture until we got 5.5 .5 gallons an hour. That way we saw 146 miles per hour, 126 knots of true airspeed. Wow, again! That's Rotax fuel burn at close to Cessna 182 speeds. Visibility is fantastic and the airplane is very well balanced and it responds to the smallest commands doing exactly what it's asked to do. It's difficult to hold back a smile when flying this plane. We flew the circuit at 80 to 85 miles per hour and the hot rod speed demon we were flying turned into a sedate, well-behaved machine. All this make the RV-9 an interesting machine, not only on paper, not only when you write down its performance numbers, but also when you're trying its controls in flight.
The RV9 is an incredible design. It is not a little fly around the pattern buzzer, a plane you would buy just to float around looking at the scenery. And it's not an ideal machine for the inexperienced pilot who flies once a month. It demands a little more precision and skill. All this performance brings a certain level of responsibility with it. It's more of a serious toy, without losing the allure of adventure, without sacrificing fun. It's beautiful, efficient, powerful and sexy. Oh man, I think I'm in love. Thank you for watching this Fly and Tell flight review. If you like our content, please consider subscribing to our channel and thank you very much. On our next episode, we'll bring you another aircraft. Then we'll fly it and tell you all about it.